Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Sam Bankman Freed accused of Chinese bribe. So the plot thickens. Um, is this a surprise to anyone? I wouldn't really say so. Um, just showing again how much further this whole FTX scandal goes and the type of person Sam Bankman Freed really is. Um, I, you know, I think at the end of the day, this is someone who was clearly uh, abusing their power and in a very desperate situation right now. So let's just get into the article and then we can discuss this further. Uh, Sam Bankman Freed. Founder of failed crypto firm FTX has been accused of bribing at least one Chinese official. In new charges unveiled in the US, officials accused the entrepreneur of authorizing a bribe of, quote, at least 40 million, unquote, to try to gain access to trading accounts frozen by Chinese authorities. The allegations add to the fraud case filed last year after FTX's collapse. Mr. Bankman Freed pleaded not guilty to those claims earlier this year. He is currently under house arrest at his parents' home in California while awaiting trial. The updated indictment says Mr. Bankman Freed authorized the bribe after Chinese authorities froze accounts holding roughly 1 billion worth of cryptocurrency that belonged to his trading firm Alameda Research. The accounts were released after the transfer, which went to a private cryptocurrency wallet, according to the filing. The alleged bribe followed months of other efforts to access the funds, which Mr. Bankman Freed believed were frozen as part of an investigation into another trading firm, it said. The incident happened before FTX's dramatic collapse last year, when reports about the company's finances led to a rush of withdrawals, pushing the firm into bankruptcy. In the wake of the collapse, which left many people unable to access their funds, the US filed criminal charges against Mr. Bankman Freed, accusing him of improperly using customer deposits at FTX to fund his other firm, Alameda Research, buy property and make millions in political donations. The episode cast a dark cloud over the crypto industry, which was already suffering from big falls in the values of Bitcoin and other assets. It was also a sharp fall from grace for Mr. Bankman Freed, who had been one of the most high profile figures in the sector, leading an exchange which had more than 1 million users and ranked as the world's third largest trading platform by some measures. Mr. Bankman Freed has acknowledged lapses in management but denied fraud. Three of his closest colleagues have pleaded guilty and are cooperating with investigators. He faces more than 100 years in prison if convicted. So, Okay, I, again, as I said before, this isn't really surprising. You know, we've seen the kind of person that Sam Bankman Freed is. We know that he is a fraud. Um, this just adds more. Uh, this just adds more clarity to the kind of person that he is, right? And as I said earlier, he's someone who's in a very desperate situation right now. So this doesn't surprise me to hear this kind of thing. I think it's quite clear to see the kind of person that he is. Um, and so you know adding bribery into this whole mix of the whole ftx fiasco is just another thing on top of the many other things that show again his uh true character um it'll be interesting to see how this goes down in terms of whether he will uh whether he will you know go to prison in the end or not because you know even when you look at how all this happened and and you know the dramatic outcome from this because Again, when it comes to this stuff, like, you know, um, platforms collapsing like this on such a big scale, it really does affect people to a way that, you know, many of us may not even understand. And, you know, I have heard of people committing suicide due to, like, things like this happening. So you really have got to understand the magnitude of this kind of situation. And, you know, he had no issue getting out on uh, bail until you know, he uh, faces trial. And this does make me think, you know, when I look at who he is and they kind of, it, it does just make me wonder, is he going to end up with a slap on the wrist? Now, the part of me that makes me think that that wouldn't happen is just simply because it's too much of a big case. It's too much of a high profile case at this point to kind of just brush it under the carpet. I think there will be a lot of, um, a lot of backlash if that was to happen. 
so I, I do imagine he is going to go down. Um, how harsh the sentence will be, like I mean, the safe facing up to 100 years, I, I doubt it's going to be that. But I do think they are going to have to do something. One, to set an example for people who want to maybe follow in the same footsteps. And two, because I think, as I say, it's too high profile to kind of just let this get swept under the carpet. I think they're going to have to show that they've not been overly lenient on him. So I do get the feeling that he is going to do prison time. Um, I, I don't see him getting off, off on this lightly at all, to be honest. So what do you guys think about this information? Has it changed your opinion of Sam batman fried Do you think this is all nonsense? And do you actually believe that he's completely innocent? Um, let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. But until the next one, take care.